Hi, Troy Smutka here from Great Day on the Water Guide Service and doing a viewer question today. Um, Mark in Wisconsin uh, said, I noticed that when you're fishing sunfish, you're catching all big ones. And I catch plenty of sunfish, but most of them are small ones. And I'm wondering what I can do differently. Uh, first to be totally transparent, Mark, we catch plenty of small ones too. They just don't make it on the videos. Um, but a couple of tips for trying to consistently get bigger sunfish. Um, we're kind of in the bedding period right now, and you've probably seen some shows we filmed where we caught them uh, on the beds. Um, about when the water temp gets to 70 degrees, start looking for, especially shoreline areas with firmer bottom. Not rock, but not mud. Uh, sand, silt, clay, uh, kind of in between like that. And the, the big males will come up and they will fan out little round bowl shaped nests or beds. And when you find that going on, they're not feeding, but they are defending the nest. And then once a female lays eggs in there, they're defending the eggs and they just hammer stuff. And that's where you'll see us consistently catching one after another big, brilliantly colored bulls. Uh, favorite technique for that is just a soft plastic on a small jig. This is a 16th ounce uh, VMC uh, moon eye jig from uh, VMC and then just a that's a two inch soft plastic any kind of soft plastic under there and then under a slip float and they won't run real far so you got to find where the beds are and then you just fish and just suspend that right above them and when you're on them you'll get a bite every couple of seconds. Uh, prior to the spawn and after the spawn uh, crappies uh, crappies and sunfish will be in some of the same spots prior to the spawn. They'll be in the weeds near the areas where they bed. And then after spawning, uh, bigger sunfish will, the small ones will stay up shallow, but the bigger ones will move out and they'll be on weedy reefs, weedy points, outside edges of weed lines. Sometimes they'll be right in the tops of cabbage and weeds like that. And sometimes they'll suspend out off of the reef or the point. A lot of times they'll suspend about the same depth that the weeds top out at. So they can just roll them straight over back into the weeds when they want to feed. Uh, you got to search for them then. This is my favorite search bait. It is a, again, a 16th ounce um, a BMC Moon Eye Jig. I've got a soft plastic little paddle tail called a Ripple Shad on there. You can put a minnow, uh, two inch power bait minnow on there, a two inch power bait grub or twister tail on there, and then a little safety pin jig spinner. And you can cast this out. It's just a little panfish sized uh, spinner bait. It'll catch sunfish, it'll catch crappies, it'll catch the bass too. I use this to locate them. Uh, when they're working the weeds and then if they're aggressive enough you can just keep catching them with this and I love catching them on this if they're nipping at it showing themselves but you're not hooking them then you can go back to that bobber uh, approach when you find them uh, a couple other things you can use uh, a little jerk bait this is a small little grappola x wrap or if you've got fish suspended near the top over deeper weeds or a shallow when they're bedding on a calm day a little grappola ultralight x wrap pop they will come up and sunny, nice big sunnies and grab this too. So that's just some of the tips for finding and staying on the bigger sunfish. You're still going to catch small ones uh, mixed in, um, not on the beds, but before and after. Um, you just got to weed through them, uh, but you should be able to consistently catch them like that. All right, here's one. We're looking for them. They're bedding, but we're searching for them. So I'm using that beetle spin or jig spinner, the soft plastic. That's a nice bull there. Now that uh, we caught one and missed one on that, now we're going to stop and fish right on those spots, the spot left, and we might even go to the, the soft plastic over the slip. Hey, and we located some on the bed, now we've got the bomber out. Nice bluegill there on this 16th uh, ounce jig with a 2 inch soft plastic tube underneath the slip float. Drop it right on top of them where they're bedding, and down it goes. Thanks for the question, Mark, and keep those questions coming. Let me know if you want your name shared or not. Uh, until next time, good luck, and I'll see you out there somewhere.